So you guys, back to you with another awesome video. Today I'm back and playing some more BeamNG Drive. Um, today we will be doing some cruising around with some vehicles um, and just testing out some vehicles and um, just driving around mainly. I I will do some crashes, but this video isn't based on crashes. But if you guys want crashes, leave them down below um, in the comments if you want them. Um, I did get a brand new wheel, because if you guys don't remember, you guys can go back into, I think, my last BeamNG video, or the one before that. You guys can check that video out, and I still had my old Logitech Driving Force TT, and you guys could hear, like, everything of that wheel. You could hear all the force feedback, the rattling and everything, you could hear it so clearly in the videos, which was super annoying for you guys, um, and for me too, when I was editing, because it's just so annoying want to crash um and it was like super loud and annoying so um okay let's back up and yeah so i that wheel was super loud and annoying the force feedback just you guys could just if you don't remember go into my previous video of beam and g or, or one of my um, previous uh, American truck ones, because they all use my wheel. Now, I own a brand new um, Logitech driving... No, it's a brand new Logitech G29 racing wheel with the Logitech driving force shifter, which is the H pattern shifter. I also have the three pedal setup with clutch, um, which is really, really cool, because now I can be real, and then when I shift like into whatever here, like into sport mode or into just drive mode, I can do it with my paddles, and these paddles are really nice, like they're big, nice paddles, I really love it. Um, this uh, wheel also has a shift light, but it doesn't work in this game. Okay, so, probably gonna pop a wheel, pop a car out with a manual. Let's see here. I'm gonna park you just over here. You guys probably can barely hear my wheel. Only if I like yank it, then it like has to make more noise for some reason. Okay. Um, let's see here. We could do could do this one, or we could do. Now yeah, I'm just gonna do this one. And my uh, shifter is a six-speed manual, if you guys couldn't tell. With push down reverse. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, well, why are we in fourth gear? Can I ask that to begin with? Okay, now we're in neutral. And see, guys, if I just put it into first gear, it just stalls and wrecks the gear, obviously. Then if I go into, like, turn the engine back on. If I put it into, like, fourth just wrecks the gear or the clutch I don't know which one so I have to put obviously the clutch in okay that was my mistake I made that mistake or you could just like gun it dump the clutch obviously if I had all-wheel drive I don't think that would work too well and see the also one thing I really really love let's see how much gears this thing has fifth does it have six gears? Does it have a seventh? It does not. Okay, and what I love is I can just skip gears, right? So I can go from, like, second to, like, fourth, you know? Or to, like, sixth, you know? I could go from sixth to second, right? So. Which... I love it. It's so much more realistic. Like, it's not explainable. And then I can just, like, chill in this gear if I want to. Or I could be like, okay, I go into sixth, right? I love that. <laughs> I love that. And by the way, I'm clutching. I don't have auto clutch. There's probably some of you out there right now that don't believe me, so. I'm just gonna pull over here. Turn the brake on. Parking brake, please. Please. No? There you go. 
Let's see, clutch resistant, I don't have that on. Obviously, you kind of just jumped the clutch right there. Watch, I'll do it again. Okay. Okay, let's just go over here. Okay. Just rev it up, and then just dump the clutch. I can max out this car, I can max out the gears, I don't know if I have enough room though, I don't think I have enough space to do it, I can max out this car in 6th gear, like I can max this thing out, I've done it multiple times, just I don't know if I have enough space on this map, I think this is the east coast if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay, let's see here. I love how this thing, like, has no boost at first. It kind of just uses the engine, and then it leans into boost and just lifts off. Like, this thing just moves once it, once it leans in. Okay, whoops. It's not like our engine slash transmission is, like, right here. Supposed to be right there, right? <clears throat> okay, Let's see if I can dump the clutch. Oh, I could. Hmm, that's surprising. <clears throat> okay, let's spin around here. I don't know if I can. Maybe I'll just have to put the clutch in, rev up, spin. Why did that work? Let's see, I'll show you guys. And then if I push my shifter down into six, in the sixth gear place, it puts it into reverse. Okay, I'll show you guys. See, if I go into like first gear, there's first of all no real power, and then once it gets up to seven thousand, it like starts leaning in. Third gear, you can really feel it, and fourth gear. See, and then you just feel it lean in, and it just takes off. So close, so close. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get this guy out. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's put the parking brake on. Um, I have not tried doing like a, like one of these. I should do D15. What's the difference? Oh, I think it's like the wheels and the grill. I don't know. I think this is a six speed manual. Five speed? We're about to find out. Put the parking brake on. Okay, so first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and no sixth. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, this is the, um. What is it? Four liter V6? I don't know. Four point one liter V six, okay. Yeah, it's rear wheel drive, okay, that's good to know. And this thing can with the four point one liter V six you can only rev up to uh uh five and a half thousand RPM. I'll show you guys see. Can't go past fifty five hundred, which the other engines can go up to six thousand, which I don't know, it doesn't really need it, I guess. This thing has no power. It makes, like, okay, well, we're at, like, such a low RPM, so. Okay, let's... Making about 240 pound-feet and about 
100 horsepower. So yeah, it's not very much. Probably not where you should go with this thing. How are we still like going? Uh oh, uh oh. I saw that coming from far away. Saw it. Surprised we can actually make these tires. No. Okay, I'm back. Just testing this thing. Okay, I think we need something faster. I'm starting to not like this. Ooh, we could take it off this. First person. I think you'd survive that. Except the engine's dead. Except, no, I think it's just stalled. Yeah, it was just stalled. What if I stick into second and try to go? Why did that work? Probably wouldn't work in real life. I think smoking like no tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> okay, we could do. Obviously, this thing is uh, auto, so. It doesn't have the greatest throttle response, I'll tell you that much. Look, I can be in, like, something gear, gun it, and then it finally downshifts, which, yeah, that's a terrible throttle response, let me tell you. I've, I've seen better. Why is this thing in gear? Second, D, what's this? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna use my panels. Yeah, see, this thing revs up to 6,000, which, this is probably one of my, this is probably my heaviest truck, because it's like 6,500 pounds, which is, yeah, that's that's a big weight, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm surprised this thing moves. Then again, it does have a stage 2 supercharger, but even with that, it's like not moving too much. If I put my little nitrous, NOS, if you guys remember in the recent update, I don't think I did a video on it, but they added nitrous and some other things, not too sure. Not exactly sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, they added a new map, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just stuck it into first gear and just saw what was gonna happen. Like, nothing, like, happens when you do that. Like, not like the hood pops up or whatever. Like, it just kind of blows up, you know? There's no, like, special effect or whatever. Okay. See if I gun it now? I'm gunned. There you go, finally. The throttle response is like three seconds probably takes it to downshift. Obviously this isn't a dual clutch transmission, so don't blame it too much, but I feel like it could be a lot faster.
This thing's pretty heavy, so... Um... Usually I... I have this mod where I can put, like, a fifth wheel on the back of my... in the back of the bed of this truck, and then, uh, pull a, um... Pull, um... Are you joking me? Pull a, uh, fifth wheel trailer, which is really cool. Let's see, let's see the damage. Is there even a wheel? There probably isn't. Nope. You know what? We don't need a wheel. Screw this. Nobody needs wheels. 2017. Okay, I guess we do. Nope. Yes. Ouch. Why am I- I'm literally only getting, like, 18 FPS. That's like- Oh my god, that's disgusting. And I only have my truck, right? Like, there's no trailers or whatever. I'm getting, like, 17 FPS, which is just... Yeah, that's horrifying. Oh my goodness, why is my FPS so low? What is going on? Okay guys, this is just a quick short video, I don't really have a video for today, so that's why I was like, okay, why not put a, uh, a, um, Beeman G one up, right? Haven't done that in a while. I also want to do a block and load one, uh, because I haven't done that in a really long time. I think it's been like two months, three months, not exactly sure, but yeah. That's when I what I want to try doing. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Now nah, may or may not have hurt my truck. But yeah. I'm just gonna upload this. This is not going up on in this is not going up in time, obviously, because it's about 115 right now and my video is supposed to go up at 130. I just Okay, now I have my gravel roamer. This thing is a beast. This thing makes about a thousand pound feet of torque and like 800 horsepower or whatever. This is just, I have a 20 pound nitrous bottle. As you guys can see that blue bottle with a 250 shot of nitrous, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. So this is just stock. I'm just gunning it. Then with nitrous. Holy shoot. Uh oh, not good. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Spin around here quick. Again, the shifting is like slow as hell, and I'm getting like no FPS. I'm getting like one FPS. And it's hard to joke about that <laughs> because. Not completely true, but pretty true. I'm getting like 25 FPS, 26. This thing's a beast. This thing moves. See, you guys just saw that torque go up to like a thousand, which, let me tell you, that's a lot. A lot. Okay, let's move. And for some reason, I don't know why, but it's the exact same transmission. It's a six-speed, ma not manual, six-speed uh, auto, and it shifts faster than that truck did. So I don't know what the difference is. Is it because it makes more power, or because it feels like being faster? I don't know. Uh oh. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Okay. I think this will wrap it up here, guys. Um, Just a quick little episode um, of Beam and G Drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay strong.